the movement for the actualization of sub-region states of Biafra and Biafra Independence Movement, MARSOP, BIM, led by Ijele Ndigbo, Chief Rafael Mwazuriki, has warned the politicians with penchant of scamming the people by using the name of Biafra for their political campaigns to desist fought with. Massa BIM said it was a scam to tell the people that a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction who end agitations for an independent Biafra state. Chris Mochi, the director of information, the senior special assistant to BIM, Marso, on media and publicity in a statement warned the politicians involved in the deceit to desist of fix the rot of the organization. The statement read, over 3 million innocent lives had been wasted. From 1967 till the present Second Biafra Civil War, with Nigerians based on non-violent ideology and properties worth trillions of Naira belonging to Igbo of Southeast destroyed in the course of Biafra. There is no amount of false hopes by these politicians to woe, for, uh, to woe voters in the name of Biafra that we even give any one of them a clear lead at the poll. The pro-Biafra group insisted that the Biafra nation was bigger than any individual or group and urged politicians to make their campaigns issue based Promising to revamp Nigerians' economy, tackle insecurity in the country, end insurgency in the Northeast, end agitations by various self determination agitators without addressing the causes of the agitations were all fake hopes told by joining politicians and we never materialize the statement added. So guys, what's your take on signing it? Marsov have said it was a scam to tell the people that a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction will end agitations for an independent Biafra state. Chris Mocha, the director of information and senior special assistant to BIM Marsov, BIM on media and publicity in a statement warned the politicians involved in the deceit to desist or face the wrath of the organization. The statement read, over 3 million innocent lives had been wasted from 1967 to the present Second Biafra Civil War with Nigerian based on non-violent ideology and properties worth trillions of Naira belonging to Igbo of Southeast destroyed in the course of Biafra. There is no amount of false hopes by these politicians to warn voters in the name of Biafran that we end, give any one of them a clear lead at the poll. The pro Biafran group insisted that the Biafran nation was bigger than any individual or group and urged politicians to make their campaigns issue based. Promise to revamp the Nigerians' economy tackle insecurity in the country and insurgency in Northeast and agitations by various self-determination agitators without addressing the crisis of the agitations we are all fake hope told by joining politicians and it will never materialize the statement added. Well, he, he just, he has spoken well. The truth is that whether an Igbo man becomes the next president of Nigeria today, and then uh, these issues of agitations are not being addressed, it will not end agitations. It will not end agitations in Nigeria. That is the truth. So the issue is not just because if an Igbo man becomes the president of Nigeria today, then automatically the struggle for Biafra will end. Anybody who is telling you that is not deceiving you. 
unless all these issues of agitations are addressed. You understand? You know, I I do say this that um, we are in a country when the government boldly uh, negotiates with uh, bandits and Boko Haram. But when you talk about agitators, you see them running away from the matter. This matter not be running away, you no, know, because you cannot run away for this issue. As they continue to run away, this matter of agitations, the insecurity, you know, and all that in this country, we continue to linger if all these things are not addressed. So saying if an Igbo man becomes Nigerian president today, agitations will end without addressing the, the root of agitations. That is not true. So what they are saying here is correct. So don't just come and tell Nigerians that uh, once an Igbo man becomes a president today, the, the issue of uh, agitations in the southeast of, uh, of Nigeria will end without addressing the roots of agitation is just pure lie. And that is the fact. So the government, these people, every one of them, I'm talking about the presidential candidate, they should be thinking how they are going to, you know, address the issue of agitation, insecurity in Nigeria if by eventual, you know, they become the next president of Nigeria so that they will be able to handle the issues. If you just keep quiet like this, they feel say if these people, if if you become Nigerian president and whatsoever, and that will end the agitations for Biafra Nation, it's not going to be, it's not going to be easy that way. So my people, make a drop on for you. Kindly share your thoughts below.